What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Kentucky, got beat by 18. We just made a whole lot more mistakes than they did. Kentucky played a really clean game and we just couldn't overcome that. The good news is our offense got a little bit better. It just made more sense to give the ball to our best players. I know when it comes to trying to beat teams that are much better than you, I much prefer to run the ball and run a clock, try to keep the game as close as I can. But the most important thing on offense is you got to score. And the best way to do that is give the ball to your best players. And then you adjust your offense to that. And if you can run clock to go along with it, then that's just a win-win. In our scenario, we can't do that because our best players is a tight end and a wide receiver and a corner. So we got to work around that. But again, the good news is we was able to rework the offense a tad bit more. Our best players got the ball a whole lot more in the last game, and we was able to move the ball some. So we're going to continue to do that today as we take on San Jose State. They're one of one. They're a C-minus overall team. We have a chance of this one. We've got to play good football, though. They are a West Coast team. I'm looking at the scattering report. It's all under center formations for them, but they are a balanced offense, but it all comes down to where their impact players are and adjusting to that. You look at the stats here. Decent little passing attack. Their offense as a whole is not doing terrible. I mean, got almost 400 yards average a game. And their defense ain't looking too bad either. They're, you know, I wonder who they lost to previously. Either way, it should be interesting. I would love to get this win because there's not many on the schedule. We got San Jose State, Ball State, I think is possible. Kent State, I don't, Akron may, I don't know. Akron's got a backfield that's got some good running quarterbacks and good running backs. Notre Dame, I don't think so. Middle Tennessee State, they're usually pretty good at the out of the gate in Eastern Kentucky. So here's our chance to sneak out a win today. So we'll try to do that. So speaking of the offense, let's talk about that a little bit. First things first, let's go into Sports Illustrated. I forgot to do that the last, I'm afraid, the last week or so. There's not a whole lot to see. We're still early in the season, and none of this is going to affect us with the top 25 polls, Heisman Watch, Conference standings is going to be useless to us throughout this dynasty. So to be honest, there's really not a whole lot to see. So I'm not going to waste your time looking through all that. So back to our offense. I have decided to tweak the offense a little bit more. You do what you got to do when it comes to having an inferior team. You need to do your best to try to work your offense around them to produce plays and touchdowns and such. So yesterday I came across, well, I didn't come across that I've had on the back of my mind for a while, is I think I'm going to work the power shoot offense into my roster. Now, the power shoot offense, if you remember, it was years ago when I had done like a two-video series on the power shoot, but I only covered ace normal. There are a lot of good plays from ace twins, gun ace and gun ace twins that really fit the the vibe of the power shoot offense, which is it's like the run and shoot, but you're dealing with two tight ends and two wide receivers instead of four wide receivers. Plus, a lot of these all plays that I'm running re require a lot of motion, which is pretty cool. So it gives it that run and shoot look, but with some bigger players. And oddly enough, my current roster fits that halfway decent. And we'll look at the roster in a little bit as to why. So what I've decided to do is... I think I can really make the power shoot work with this team and use the power shoot to the fullest effect and not just, you know, ace normal. So you're going to see quite a few plays you've never seen me run before, especially out of like ace twins. There are some good hidden gems in here that uh, I figured out lately, and you'd just be surprised by how close they fit to the power shoot. Now, the entire offense is going to consist of pretty much these four formations. And when it comes to third and long, I may go back to gun normal just because my offensive line, I don't know if they can handle me being under center, waiting back there for somebody to get open for a 10-plus yard gain, if that makes sense. So the entire offense is going to go through these five formations. I have to fill out the rest of the playbook, of course. I got a couple four-wide sets just in case my tight end situation gets real depleted. Hopefully that never happens, but I got a backup plan just in case. I got I-Twins. I still want to keep that 
unbalanced look. And when we get, if we're ahead, which would be a great sign if this offense is going good. If we're ahead at one point, we want to run some clock. I, I got a 21 personnel set to use if needed. I may never touch it, but at least it's there. And then I moved ace, big tight end, wide receiver, all the way to the back of the playbook. That's going to be my goal line formation just for that purpose alone. Now, you would probably be asking yourself, why not add this formation along with ace, big twins to the power shoot? To be honest, there's not a whole lot of plays out of those other two formations that require a lot of motion. And honestly, the other reason why I picked the power shoot is because the one thing I did not like about my offense in the last game was I didn't really get to attack the defense vertically. I want to stretch them as best I can. And yes, I don't mind going down the field three to four yards at a time, but just the threat of going deep, it really makes a difference. I really want that defense to work. And the parachute does that in spades where my five wide heavy thing I was doing last week just doesn't do that all that well. So you're going to see a lot more vertical stuff out of this. And it should be a lot of fun. Now, I changed some audibles around. To be honest, I don't think I'll have to use hardly any of these. But I got a couple of unique plays. I got the two wide receiver reverse plays at an ace normal and ace twins. They work fine against man, but the blocking just has to be there. So you're just taking a chance with those. This is a play PA rollout at an ace twins. I don't think you've ever seen me run before. You're going to see quite a bit of it going forward. This is going to be a right nice little play. But honestly... I don't think I really even need it as an audible. Tight end deep, same way. P. A. Reed out of Ace Twins. I don't think you've ever seen me run that one much. Like I said, I don't think I'll be using audibles a whole lot. Now, I'm still keeping home field advantage turned on. I want, I still want to test it to see towards the end of the year are guys improving over the course of the season. So I still may use some hot routes here and there. But to be honest, this offense is kind of set up where you don't have to do a whole lot of that. You can use it if you want to, though. All right. I think that is it. We will be making some... Oh, let's talk about the roster real quick. We need to make some adjustments here. Let's go to our depth chart. Now, the power shoot, again, the only downside to the offense is it's very roster specific. 95% of the offense is two wide receivers, two tight ends. Now, you may be asking yourself, Al, how can you run this offense when you only got one good tight end? That is true, but... The second tight end is not as super important as you might think. Plus, I got a backup tight end that's that's doable for our particular situation. Let's so let's talk about that. Nothing changes with the halfbacks. This is going to be a balanced offense, by the way. I mean, yes, I'm going to throw a bit more than run only because that's where my talent is at. But this is not passing all the time like the new run and shoot you see nowadays. This is going to be I'm going to t- cater to my or tailor to my roster, and adjust accordingly. As soon as I get better running backs, I'll probably run a little bit more than usual. So nothing really changes on that side of things. Now what's interesting is Odom... I'm going to have to check something here in a minute. Let's go to our tight ends. Wide receivers, what we're going to do is, if you go to our tight ends, look at my backup tight end. He's terrible. He's slow and he can't do anything. But if you look at the depth chart, and you start noticing down here, there are some players that can actually play some tight end. Biggers, yes, his overall shows that he's the second best tight end in the, in the, on the roster, but look at his size, 5'10", 176. That doesn't make any sense. However, when you go to Ansha Whitaker, he's 6'2", 220. That's big enough for me to say, hey, you can play a little tight end for this offense, especially since it's more of a passing variety for him. So I don't need my tight ends to be super huge in this particular offense. So what we're going to do is put Whitaker as our number two tight end. And we'll put the other tight end as my number three guy. Just in case somebody gets, you know, uh, injured or whatnot or just fatigued. But if you go back to wide receiver, it's interesting. I got Whitaker as my number two tight end and my number two wide receiver. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move everybody up one. And we're going to put... Sanders right here, and then we're going to have Whitaker as a number four. Out of the four base formations, I'm going to put Galashaw, maybe one of them. I noticed in the last game, I don't know if you saw it as well, but he got tired a lot in that game, and he was just playing way too much because he's playing both sides of the ball. And I'm going to try to avoid that a little bit, so I may have him in one of the formations. We'll see how that goes. I can adjust accordingly. 
But when it comes to the four wide sets, I might as well just have Whitaker as my number four or number three guy. What we can do is... Uh, oh, oh, we'll just leave that as is for now. I won't be using a whole lot of sub packages and stuff with this offense, which is another bonus. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to have Whitaker be our number two tight end. He's just big enough for it to make sense. He's still a 56 overall, so it's not like we're cheesing here in any way. But he's got 78 speed, and his catch is still intact at 70, so he will be just fine as our number two guy. Everything else stays pretty much the same. So one thing I really wanted to go see is look at this. That theory holds true. That kind of proved to me that Eldridge, look, he went up a plus three. We can go to the all here. Let's just look and see. Okay, Odom went up plus three. My fullback Baxter went up plus three. They did not have that in the previous game. We looked, we checked it. Uh, beforehand, at least I'm pretty sure we did. We'll double check that going forward throughout the season, but a plus three with already four game or three games into the season, that's really high. That actually surprises me. But here's Deloom, Deloose May. I don't know how you want to call it. I assume the S is silent. But Deloom, he's another big wide receiver. We got a lot of big wide receivers on this team. None of them are all that great, but it is what it is. He's already went up plus three. I think the the worse you are, the better your training gets or the better you pick things up. Because like Elders, there he is. He's already went up plus three, which is great. So we're going to continue to monitor that over the course of the season, but it's already showing. Look at this, plus four, plus three, plus two. That tells me the whole, the uh, home field advantage does not affect your in-season ratings. It only affects, like, in-game, where you just don't see it, anybody get better during the game, which is fine. Okay, now you know a little bit about that. Let's just go ahead and get right into the game. Hopefully everybody's excited about this new scheme. I know I've... I feel like I'm changing stuff every single week, but you do what you got to do to win. Unlike some coaches that don't want to change anything. I'm not going to name names. Don't get me started. Looks like nobody is in trouble. So we'll go ahead and get this started. They got an outside linebacker out, a halfback out. Both of them due to probation of some sort. This should be interesting. I do know they don't have a, a running quarterback, but they got two really fast halfbacks that are really small. And I'm pretty sure that wide receiver is an impact guy. We'll check it here in a minute. Looks like they won the toss and they want the ball first, which is fine. We'll go here. We'll go here. And let's look at some rosters. We don't have to look at ours. We've already done that. Let's look at theirs. And then we'll go to our formation subs. All right, San Jose State, starting quarterback, 68 speed. That's the same as what CT has, but I don't expect him to run around on as much, so we're going to blitz him today. Look at their halfbacks. I, maybe I was wrong. Yes, they are small. That's what it is. This guy is out, but nothing special here. Nothing special of fullback. Wide receiver, they got one good one. He looks no different than Baker's for us, except this guy's a little bit bigger. No pun intended. Let's see, 82, 76, 74, 68. Again, just nothing to get too worried about. Nothing to get tied in. You look at their offensive line, they're really big so far. Look at that, 6'6", 349. But nothing to get excited about on the offensive line. Now, they do run a 4-3 defense, so let's look. Eh, let's go back. And my right trigger button's been acting up on me. I hope it doesn't mess up on me throughout the game. <laughs> I got a, it's so weird. I got me a brand new PlayStation 2 controller straight from Sony. It was from Amazon, but it's it's a Sony. It's not a knockoff controller. And for whatever reason, I've just had like the worst luck with that thing. Somebody needs to recommend me a better controller. I just had the, like my right joystick's been messing up on me. I don't know. All right, back to their defense. They run a 4-3. Let's say they got a 72 and a 68 at the ends. Defensive tackles, nothing great. One of their, I guess, better linebackers, he's out today. He's really small. Just mid-level type guys. They got a pretty good little corner. 91 speed. 82 of free safety, 78 of strong safety. So it looks like their secondary 
is their best unit on defense. They got a terrible kicker, terrible punter, and all that jazz. Okay, out of the four main formations, I want to put Galashaw somewhere. I just, I'm afraid to put him in so many of them where he's going to be on the field all the time. And we need him as healthy as he could be on defense, especially because Lord knows we don't have anybody on defense. So what we can do is I may have him, let's put him like on that one and leave it at that. The rest of it, I don't have to do any adjustments right here, which is really nice. Everything else is kind of good to go. I may use a sub package right here to put, no, already got Biggers there. Never mind. That's where I was going to put him anyways. We can have Galashaw right there is fine. I'm okay with that. Everything else, I think we are good to go. Biggest thing is halfbacks. We got to do that. We're going to split those reps. We're going to go put Lane. Now, Odom's is starting to pull away from Lane, but I, I want them to split the carries a little bit still. We got him here, and let's put Lane there. Okay. I think that's it. Let's get at it. I'd love to get a win today. That'd be really nice. Now, out of the gate, we're going to have to kick high. I still don't want them to have a easy return, and this may go out of bounds. Fair catch is what we want. I love our field, the turf field. I've always liked the way it looks in this game. We're going to go quarters. We're going to play a lot of zone today because I fully expect him to pass quite a bit, even though it says they run balanced offense. Play action. Good defense there by Dax. Was able to get a hand on it. Going three. I'm going to stay in nickel. That's still our best unit. We just don't have the linebackers this year to play a lot of 4-3. I had to go over there and make the tackle. So it's what, third and two? Third and three, perhaps? Here, I don't mind going with a 4-3. We'll go with a cover one. That's my gut telling me to go with a cover one. I could see him easily run, uh, passing it, though. I didn't think about that. Well, they're going to run it. And I don't think he got it. Did he get it? Fourth and one. Good deal. My gut told me they was going to run the ball. So that's why I went with the cover one. All right. Here's your chance. Let's possession by possession. I still plan on running clock. We just don't have enough. To, ooh, man, he had a chance to block that. We're going to fair catch this one. Okay, let's, let's do some parachute stuff. Out of the gate, I want to go with this particular play here. Let's go and do the PA rollout. I'm going to try it. Now, I don't know if my offense or my line can handle much play action. But we're going to try it some. All right. We're going to go here. We're going to do a lot of motion in this offense. And an interception out of the gate. <laughs> Just a bad throw. Gosh, that was a terrible throw. He was wide open, too. He just overshot it big time. Just a bad throw. Okay. So it's like nothing ever happened, and they're still on offense, still going down the field. So we're going to have to do some shorter things. Give him some safer throws, perhaps. That's the only downside to that particular play. Is against zone, soft coverage, you got to go over the middle a little bit to that crosser. You saw how open he was. The CT made a bad throw. So we got to recover from that. I think he's got in bounds. Oh, it went incomplete. All right, they're going with a one tight end look. I would love to blitz. Please go play action. Do not run to the left. Everybody's back, so I didn't have to make any defensive adjustments like we did the first couple of games. Great defense. Oh, I got a hand on it. So now it is third and ten. We'll go cloud. Love to get a stop here. He's got all. He got a hit when he. Th oh, you gotta be kidding! Look at this. That's terrible. So bad. All right, we'll go to one hop.
Make our adjustments. So they stop them. Good deal. Get on defense. Second down. I'm going to do another zone blitz. Honestly, I don't know what they're going to do here. I can see him just running it out. But I'm taking a huge risk here, but it... Good deal. I took a chance. They decided to go play action. So now it's third and long. We got to get a stop here to force a field goal. We're going to go back to Cloud. And I know I don't have the defensive lineman to rush too much. But we'll try it anyways. Ah, wide open. Ah, what do you do? He had all day to throw, so I don't know if I need to start doing some blitzing more on third down. It just, when he got that much time to throw, any average quarterback can look good. So that's not the start we wanted. But I'm going to look at, at that as... They just slowly went down the field and scored a touchdown on that. As opposed to us getting it back and turning the ball over right back to them. Let's see if we can tie this thing up. It's not a whole lot there. Let's give him something easy. Let's do slant outs. We're going zone. We're going dime. Hopefully we can get this over to the loom. Pick up the first. Ah, I don't know if they gave us the first or not, to be honest. Second and inches. I still want to keep throwing the ball a little bit. We'll sprinkle in the run. We're going zone here. This is a parachute staple. The clock is running, so we can go ahead and do that. Again, I don't... I think it's in our best interest to run as much clock as possible. They're still better than us. I want to keep it away from their offense. Now, we're going to be getting out of bounds a little bit more than usual, but at least we're moving the chains. Okay, let's go here, and I want to go with tidy and wheel. This is another parachute staple. We're going zone. They may zone us today. If a lot of these teams feel like they've been zoning us all year. We're going to move. And I forgot to. Okay, this will work. We got Galishaw in the slot here. Not the best throw, but we got five yards out of it. Let's go. Let's go double tight end outs. We're going man. Who's on who? He's coming down. Uh, let's see. Come on, Biggers, make a play. Ah, six points. Good deal. The corner was, I don't know how close he was to it. I about got sacked. Ah, if he was any taller, he would have got that one. That was a good throw, though. Biggers adjusted. And again, the biggest thing on offense, regardless if you are trying to run clock, if you're just under man big time, in the end, you still got to score points to have a chance. And that was what was missing in the previous game. I just wanted to stretch in the field a whole lot. And this offense is going to let me do so. We're going to get the tight ends going deep quite a bit as well. If the off, if the defense ever shows us cover zero, we can exploit that. All right, back to defense we go. I feel like they're doing okay so far. We kind of goofed up on that when they got the ball in that second drive. But I feel like we can stop them a few times today. We're going to try. Play action, wide open, first down. That's just a good play. I'm going to keep doing quarters. I have a feeling they're going to throw enough to where this quarterback can hopefully throw in my direction and I get an interception or two. Now, one thing I've thought about doing, 
That's a good tackle there. One thing I've thought about doing is maybe playing a little more middle linebacker than usual. The only problem with the middle linebacker situation, because if you remember, what was it, my second or third year at UNLV, I controlled the middle linebacker the entire year, and what happened? My middle linebacker broke all kinds of records, especially with interceptions. The problem is I have nothing at middle linebacker. I mean, they're slow as all can be, and maybe it's in my best interest to control the worst player on the field. It's not like the CPU could do any worse. I, I could be dead wrong there. We'll just see how that goes. But I feel like I can bait teams in the better in, or the more interceptions if I control the middle linebacker more. I don't know. We may try that later on if things aren't really clicking at outside linebacker. I, I'm more comfortable controlling this guy here. But by all means, if I feel like I can make my team better controlling the middle linebacker, I will. Oh, dang it. Just easy first down. Let's do a zone blitz. Eh, this ain't good. And dang it, Galashaw. Oh, we're making our mistakes. Making them a whole lot more than they are right now. Nothing you can do about that. That's just a random occurrence. I don't know if that was a bad pass or the defender got in the way of it enough for him to drop it. We're going to do another zone blitz. I'd love to get a sack here, force him to a third and long. And let's do it like this. Maybe a little bit better. Ah, I couldn't get to him in time. Touchdown. Dang it. Well, it's inevitable. It's going to get a touchdown. Quarterback's playing good. What do you do about that? I just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. We need bodies on defense. It's hard to just out-scheme the CPU when you just have nobody on defense. Look, that was just he had all day in the world and nothing you can do about it. All right. We'll get back on offense and try to tie back up. We're going to need them to turn the ball over somehow. to get that possession back off that interception. Of course, they scored off that interception. We stopped them that first drive, but technically that's not an equal situation because they actually scored off one and we didn't on ours. So, so we got to get that possession back. All right, Galshaw, make up for what you've done before. All right, we are on the left hash. Let's go here. I'm still throwing the ball quite a bit. I just feel like that's where our best players are at, but we're going to do another pass play. We're going zone here. We're going to do a PE read. This is sort of similar to that PE rollout we've done before. Just get a few yards there. If it was cover three or cover four, I would have went to the tight end that I motioned over there. Let's do a, a run play. We're going man. I'm going to hurry up on this one. Uh, let's go ahead and try it. Yeah, that was a good play. We'll take that. First down. That's fine. In those instances is where I probably need a over-the-top play. Let's go. I need to think about this when I'm done with this video is I need to set these a little bit better. So, for example, probably best to have that right there. I need a deep ball something. What's a good one that's kind of separated from everybody? Not really. Uh, tight end wheel, maybe. Yeah, we could probably do tight end wheel. Here we can set up. Uh, flanker out and ups, and this one, leave that one as is. That sounds about right. So now I got all four based up, ready to go, just in case we see that cover zero again. 
So it's first attempt. We're on the right hash. Let's see. We can go back. Let's go here. Let's do tiny and deep. This one doesn't require any motion. It's not needed. But let's see if we can get something going here. Cover one. Ooh, that's... I thought that was going to get picked. Got a first down, though. Oh, no, we did it. Second and one. Still a good play. Let's go here. Let's go back. I'm going to try that PA rollout one more time. All right, they're going man. Hopefully this play will work really good against man. I think it will as long as we got decent protection. We're going to bring him over. And I was fixing to get sacked. Sometimes somebody comes around, other times not, so I had to get it off. But look how wide open he was, you know. That's the chance you take. All right, that's 31 of the 37. We're going man. Let's see if we can just pick up the first with a run. And we're coming down. Ah, let's try it. All right, they're bringing everybody down. Let's go to our tight end over the top. Six points. All right. They brought both safeties. You saw that pre-snap. When the free safety comes down, you know they're going cover zero. I don't know if there's hardly any defensive plays in the game that has the strong safety as your cover one. So I pretty sure knew that it was going to be a cover zero. So I was just waiting for him to get enough separation away from everybody else so he can make a play there. All right. At least now you understand why I'm going with this offense. You're making the defense pay on a lot of different ways, especially over the top. And San Jose State has decided to bring a lot of cover zero to us, so we're going to make him pay for it. And now we got to figure out what to do on defense. I still am the, think that our quarters coverage is the best bet because it takes the defense a little while to get down the field. And I can force... Them to maybe throw an interception or two. Problem is, our linebackers are so slow. And I actually kicked it way too hard on that one. I, that was my fault. That was not supposed to happen. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking too much. All right, another hanging tight end. This has worked for us once today. And they're going up fullback dive. Look at that linebacker. Did you notice that right there? Look at our linebacker right here up, up this gap. That's when you have no awareness, that's that's gonna happen. Just another good run. So they're pretty balanced so far. We can go back and look at the stats. Now let's go game stats, not individual. Let's go game stats. They are okay. They're actually throwing more than I thought. I feel like they're they're pretty balanced. We'll do another zone blitz. Uh, yeah, they're going to pass. Ah. Oh, Dallas Shaw! We got to get those. No, no if, ands, or buts about it. We got to make plays like that to stay in this game. It's a stop, so I guess that's all that matters. Intercept that. Mm. Good defense. So it's third and long. We got to get a stop here. Now, I'm going to... Go with Cloud. Hope for the best. I hold up just one second. I gotta pause this. This is what happens when you do, the, do things live. All right. I thought the color on my screen didn't look all that sharp. Looks a little bit better now. Make a play, somebody. Good deed. All right. That's what we wanted. So now we gotta take advantage of this. We're gonna punt. They're gonna punt. We're going to get the ball back. We're going to go right down the field and try to score and get our first lead of the game. Try to run clock if I can remember to do so. I had to adjust my cord. Go over this way. This ain't good. Let's just get out of bounds. That's fine. All right. We are back on the right hash. Let me think. Let's go back to tight end streaks. We're going man this time. This is what we scored off the touchdown from before. We're doing cover zero again. And this is going to be intercepted. Oh, wow, what a catch. I threw it off my back foot. This is a good teaching moment right here. 
Cover zero, but they're bringing the heat. My left guard did not do a very good job there, so that's why I had to keep backpedaling. Otherwise, I was going to get sacked. So I threw it off the back foot. So with a guy, a CT elder, just talent, this isn't a good deal. We got very lucky here. You need plays like this. That's what an impact guy could do right there. Huh, okay. Let's go. Let's go here, and let me think of some plays I haven't called yet. The playbook isn't very big by any means. Let's go halfback corner. This is actually a decent third and long play. We're going to hot route our tight end to a go just in case. I'd rather him do a go than a post if they go cover zero. They're going cover one here. Good throw. I wonder where they're going to put us there. It is second and five. So let me think. Let's go back to our PE read from here. We're going zone. All right, that's fine. If they go cover three or four, we can give it to Whitaker. If not, we'll go to our halfback. There we go. Yeah, I just can't get the first down. They went cover three there, I think. Yes, they went cover three. So you notice how open he was over there. Just wasn't the very best throw. He had to come back for it. Third and two. Let's go slant outs. We're going man. Only downside, they got an impact corner that's going to be on our impact guys, so something's got to give eventually. We've won that battle so far. We're going to run some clock. Might as well. And I will probably will go for this if I don't get it. Then we'll go back to running some different things. Cover zero again. And that's a short throw. And a great catch, though. Great catch. But you saw it wasn't the best throw in the world. Our tight end had to adjust. Another reason why I like my tight ends going deep, because think about it. Our tight end, John St. Louis, is like 6'3", 250. There's not going to be any defender on San Jose State's team that can keep up with this guy, just for size purposes. You, there's just nobody. Most D1 teams don't have anybody that big that can make a play on that. So I want to use that to my advantage and have jump ball opportunities. So we're on the one. Let's go to our goal line. Let's put in our fullback. And let's just stay here and see if we just can't get the touchdown. We're going zone. Now, I would love to go to one of my four base formations for goal line, but they always go goal line when you call it. So I'm going to take advantage of this. No reason not to. Now, this is what really hurt us against Kentucky. We couldn't score on the goal line. Kentucky done a great job, but here we was able to get the touchdown. So we get our lead, first one of the day. There's less than two minutes left. So I do not need to forget on kickoff to kick it high. I just don't want any easy returns. And if we can somehow survive these next two minutes, maybe get the ball back and get a touchdown, that would be incredible. But thankfully, San Jose State has decided to go cover zero on us. So we're going to make them work for it. And so far, we've taken advantage of it big time. From what I can tell, they've either done soft zone or cover zero. That's just been their strategy today. All right, let's figure something out on defense. We've been able to stop them twice. That gives me hope throughout the rest of the game, but you just never know. Anytime we can force a punt, I'm all for it. I'm going to stay in just in case. All right, we're going here. Good play. Just Cover four over the middle above your center usually gets open. That's the sacrifice you make. I don't want them going deep on us anytime soon, so... That's why we do a lot of quarters. Amongst it does, it covers the ball. Thanks pretty well anyways. All right, they went play action. I took a chance on the zone blitz. We'll go back to quarters, try to keep everything in front of us for another third and long. And what I may do, let's control the middle linebacker. All right, good defense. There was nothing over the middle, so I didn't have to do much there. 
Third and 16. We got to stop him here. Let's get the ball back and maybe we can do something. Before halftime, that would be great. Ah, he's got all day to throw. Somebody get to him. Oh, big play by Dykes. Don't turn the ball over. Good deal. He was just sitting over there waiting on it. Ah, he went to their best receiver over there, or one of them. That must be that receiver right there. Either way, nobody was open. Good deal. All right, so I want to go play action here. So I don't mind. Uh, let's go. Let's go pee roll out. I, we're going man. Interesting. So I'm going to go and hot wrap this thing, or uh, audible. Let's go to our easier play and see what happens. We're going to cover one here. Ooh. Let's look, go back and look at this play. They went spy. That's what it was. No wonder. Was he the one who even touched it? That's just good. I didn't see the spy look, so kudos to them. All right, second to ten. Let's go tight in deep. We're going to man. Now, there's still quite a few plays I haven't called yet that kind of goes with the offense, but I'm trying to do the base stuff first and the, the quicker things. That way, my quarterback doesn't get sacked as much. Cover zero again. We got to take advantage of it. Ah, oh, and he dropped it. Ah, oh, he dropped it. All right, third and ten. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our third and long formation. I'm going to go shotgun normal, and we're going to go tight end streak. We're going zone. I would love to go to our tight end here. If they go cover two, definitely. If not, I'll probably have to go to Biggers. I'm seeing a cover two. Ah, intercept. Ooh, wow. He came back. What awareness. Look at this play. This was great. You hardly ever see this. It was a terrible throw by Bigger or by CT. He had to come back for it. Look how open he was back there. Problem was that middle linebacker. That scared me a little bit, but he short armed it again. And he came back for it. Good awareness by the tight end. Now, we're in the middle of the field. I want to... I got plenty of time. Let's just go ahead and... Ooh, they're going man. I'm going to go back and do our audible again. Might as well. Now I won't have to do any motion here. Let's go to Biggers this time. Pick up the first there. Let's do a slam. I'm under a minute. They're going man again. That's another cool thing with the run plays. You can treat it like it looks like a pass play. Good. Yes. I'm trying to run some clock. Get a touchdown. All right. Good deal. That's the, Like I said, it's a cool thing. You know, we're doing a lot of motion with our passing. You can do the same thing with the run. Makes it all look the same. Looks very confusing. That's why I think this offense works very well against a human opponent, I would run something similar to this. Not, it doesn't have to be the exact same offense. I'm just saying I would stick to a lot of things looking the same. That way you don't really you know, know what I'm trying to do. Instead of picking just one play from a formation and you know pretty much instantly, okay, yeah, he's going to run this particular play. That's why you see, like, watch tonight. Monday Night Football tonight. Watch the L.A. Rams. I love what Sean McVay does. His offense is great. He has like six to seven concepts that it all looks exactly the same. And I love the idea behind that. And this parachute's pretty much the same way. And I kicked it the long way. And watch, I'm, I'm sorry, I just forgot to kick it high. My bad. Very fortunate nothing happened there. All right, we are moving the ball quite well. So the offense is definitely working. Now, trust me, I'll get to some other plays you haven't seen yet. Right now, my base stuff's working pretty well, so there's no reason to change it. All right, they're throwing still, which is interesting. Uh, I think they're going to... We're going to go with a zone blitz. I have a feeling they're trying to do something here, try to get down the field. I'm going to go up to A-gap just in case. Oh, they're going to pass. Bath throw, I think he threw it behind them. It's 30-10. I'm surprised they're doing this. We're going to go cloud. I'm guessing they're going to throw. So we're going to treat it as such. 
I'm going to try to get to the quarterback. He's got all day to throw, though. Oh, good catch. Corner was so close. And I went cloud again. Do I have my defensive audible set up? I don't know if I do. For some reason, I thought I did. And I don't. Not even close. I'll have to set these up later. I keep forgetting. That's okay. We'll leave this as is for now. I'll treat it as a third and long. Intercept that. Big play by Westbrook. He was wide open. Our safety was. Maybe that was our corner. No, that was the safety. Just a bad throw. No different than CT's first throw from before. So we got 28 seconds left and like 100 miles to go before we get a touchdown. So I'm just play this safe. We're going to take a knee, go to half. Uh, let me go back here. And yeah, we'll go QB Neal. I think that's the wisest choice. We get the ball started the second half. So maybe we can take advantage of that and go up three scores. Six, five, four. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you like the offense so far. Again, I'll expand it here in a little bit. I wanted to run the stuff that really works well before I get into my other bag of tricks that are either all great or not all that great. It just kind of depends on the defense. Also, I'm still trying to remember some of the plays. That's another downfall that I have of mine. Sometimes you can make a playbook so big or you just forget plays. This offense shouldn't have that big of a problem. Because I'm only dealing with four formations. But either way. All right, let's look at some game stats. So far at halftime, we got 258 yards of offense. It's the passing attack. We haven't run the ball hardly at all. And that's because, again, our best talent is in the receiving core. But we're playing the ball, you know. CT's throwing the ball pretty well. He's had some bad throws. He probably had another pick that somebody else dropped or whatnot. But otherwise... We're not getting sacked, which is good. Our third down conversions is excellent. Three for three. I'll take that any day of the week. Everything else looks pretty good. We can check out some individual really quick. 13 of 17, two touchdowns, and that one terrible throw at the beginning. We're not running the ball a whole lot. Uh, let's see. John St. Louis and Biggers, that's what I want to see. I want those guys to touch the ball a lot through the air. And Gallishaw doesn't have to do much on offense. I thought we was going to have to force him into our offense to make it go. So far, he we don't have to. That's a good sign for us. All right, let's run some more parachute. I'm trying to think of some new plays that I was going to unleash today. I, I practiced this for a couple hours, some of the new stuff. Hopefully, we can see some of that today. Let's go. I'm trying to think. Let's do slam out of twins. This is maybe we can see a crazy shift by the defense that we can use to our advantage, and that's what I want to see right there. We're gonna to run to our right. That's good defense. He was able to come through. I think he was blitzing. So kudos to them. Let's go. I'm trying to think. I feel like I'm forgetting something. We're gonna use our halfback pass at one point or another. Let's go back to tight end streak. That's helping us a whole lot today. We're going man dime. I dare them to bring both safeties. Let's run some little, little clock. Ooh, that, nah, that was a bit bad mistake on my part. I should have went to the out route. That was my bad. All right, third and 12. Now, there's a couple plays here that I think can work fairly well on third and long, like tight end crosses, but I'm not ready for it just yet. I don't think CT is ready for it either. So let's go back to our third and long formation. Let's go back to tight end streak. We're going man here, which is interesting. Since we're going man, let me think. Um, they're doing that. We need a first down. And that's a terrible throw. He just short-armed it big time. So we're going to punt it. Just not a good drive at all. That's the only downside. I think CT, he's, he can handle the go routes okay. These other diagonal throws, it's not his strong suit. 
So I'm trying to avoid that if possible. That's a... Yeah. Just... Oh, just a touchdown. Ooh, okay. I thought he was going to have an easy run for six points. We're very fortunate there, but look at their where they're at. Just great field position. But I didn't want to give up an easy score. Until we get better talent, I'm going to have to do that. I don't know what this play is. Let's go. I said a little delayed right out of Ace Big Twins. Delayed pass. It's got a little glitch in it off the snap. You're going two tight end, two running back. Let's do a one high. Did he get out of bounds? Incomplete. Third and three. I'm going to take a chance here. I have it on my mind. We're going to go with fire two. We're going to blitz. See, yeah, I'm going to do a little cover two, a little Tampa two type stuff. And they may just strictly run the ball up the gut. It may hurt us big time. Nope, we're going to play action. And a sack. Good deal. Somebody came through. I assume it's one of the linebackers we could check. And it was. Okay, they are going to go for it. That's what I expected. So we're going to go cloud. Hopefully we can get to them. A little worried that we can't, but we're going to try. Uh, oh, big play by Romero. Quarterback was confused, or I don't know, but... Oh, he was going... They was running a mesh concept. Oh, he was going to their impact guy. Didn't see him there. All right, we're on the left hash, and I want to go play action off turnovers. We got to take advantage of this and really pull a stretch or lead if we can. So I'm going to go back to PA roll out of H Twins. And, okay, they're going man. Let's see if we can pull this off. The last time he made a terrible throw and I was fixed to get sacked. Now, this is what worries me is I can see him getting sacked here, but we're going to try it anyways. And that's intercepted. Just a bad throw. Sometimes he gets covered. Sometimes not. That was my fault. I should have went to this guy right here. It's kind of hard to tell when you're in this situation. If I can get to it. When you're right here, you can't tell if the coverage is good. See, look how wide open he is. But that defender does a great job of get gaining ground on it. So that's just my fault. My fault, I should have went to the tight end, the other one. That's the only downside to this offense. Well, with Eldred, she just doesn't have the best arm in the world. So I may, I don't know, I may have to use that one as an audible or something. And right up the gut, we had both clogging up the middle and it didn't make a difference. We'll go quarters at a nickel. So I'm thinking we need to run the ball a little bit more. I feel like we're throwing a whole lot, which, again, that's where our talent is at. But still, oh, he's wide open. What do you do about that? Fumble it. Fumble it. I should have been over there, I guess. They're doing that. Very good chance they're going to just get a touchdown here. Usually off turnovers, CPU does a good job of doing so. Didn't get the touchdown, but it was a good play. And I, what am I doing here? I, eh, they're going to score, so I'm not too worried about it. I went with a punt return. <laughs> I think they was going to score regardless, so I'm not worried about that. All right, so we gave, gave up another touchdown. So we would technically be up like four scores if we didn't turn the ball over so much. And to be honest, both of those interceptions were my fault. I got to clean that up. If we lose the day, I'll gladly ban myself because of the turnovers. We already have three, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go back. We probably need to run the ball. I'm going to let that one go. We never have success up the middle. Let's just stay here and do slam. We're going man. Ah, I'm just going to audible. I feel like I have no choice. As much as they went cover zero on us. 
today. They went cover one here. And almost intercepted. Gosh, that's a terrible play. I threw that way too light, but I was fixing to get sacked. I'm, all right, they're going, man. We're going to keep this. The clock has stopped. Let's go this way to get away from that defensive tackle. That's a good play there. Get a, get a first down with Odoms. CT is down with a shoulder injury. Well, that's no good. So let me think about that. We got the first. Let's just... Let's see if he can handle some other things. Let's go... Let's do a tunnel screen. We haven't called this yet. We're going zone. I think Nixon can handle this throw. Shouldn't be too hard. The clock is running, so we'll do... Let it do that. Ah, just... He got bogged down. Nothing you can do about that. Second and 12. Let's just stay here. And do P.E. read again. All right, they're going man, but they're going dime. So this probably ain't going to work either. We'll try it. Uh, all right, everybody, their brother's coming. I hope they're going to cover one. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Oh, <laughs> don't ever do that. This is terrible play. I, I, I got super lucky. I'm just trying to make a play. I should have just threw it away. Don't, we just got lucky there. It just, it is what it is. Just ignore that. <laughs> okay, first down somehow, some way. Great throw. It just, that wasn't a smart play. Uh, let's go back to halfback corner. The passing game is what's really helping us right now. Then we'll go to a run play here in a minute. All right, they're going zone. I'm going to leave it as is. Clock is running. We'll go ahead and snap it. Pick up an easy five yards. Got out of bounds, though. Second and five. Let's do... I'm gonna, our toss play's working halfway decent, so let's go ahead and call that from this formation. And they're going man. Brew shoulder only after a quarter. That's good. I like the shift, so we're going to run toward a left. I'm going to leave it as is. I could move... My other, I could have moved John St. Louis over, but sometimes that helps, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, just get the first, be done with it. So let's go back, and I'm going to go here. I'm going to call another play. We're going to go with, where's it at? Wide receiver deep post. We need to get John St. Louis the ball. It's man. So he's going to get the ball unless they go cover zero, and I may give it to him anyways. The clock is stopped. Edged a bad throw. I could have went over the top, but I, I'm okay with what happened there. Left hash. Mm, do I have anything here? Uh, let's go with something basic. We'll flip tight end streaks. And they're going zone. I didn't think about that. I don't, hopefully DeLoon can do something here. Just a bad throw. Bad, bad throw. Third and ten. I What I'm going to do, I'm going to run the ball, then we're going to throw it on fourth down. We're going man. I don't trust Nixon to make a play. Yeah, to bring up both safeties. Ah, we got to go over the top. I think they are. Maybe that's safety. Let's see what happens. Both of them are coming. Make a play. Ah, just bad throw. Good defense. So it's fourth and ten. We can't kick a field goal. Our kicker's terrible. So we are going to go with a third and long. That's all you can do. So they're going man. I'd love to be able to go to John St. Louis here. I don't know if he can get that first down, though. We're going with a cover one. Nope, just a terrible throw. Short armed it big time. Just terrible throw. So I think just a bad play. Terrible throw by Nixon. Short armed at the no end. So I think we're gonna have to maybe run just a whole lot more now. 
Yeah, good throw. Now watch him go right down the field and score on us. We'll go quarters. They've really shut us down this second half, but our passing game is not doing a good job. Wide open. So they stop him. Let's do a zone blitz. Sack. I didn't know if I was going to get to him or not. That was kind of a weird play action. All right. We're up a touchdown, but it's not a... They have all the momentum in the world right now. So we got to play some smart football. We're going to get beat. I'm going to lose a force if I'm not careful. Ah, that's just a good play. I'm just wide open. So it's what, third and eight. We're going to go cloud. More often than not, he struggled against this. Sack! Ah! So what are they going to do here? Are they going to go for it? I, it's fourth and twelve. I can surely they'll just punt this. We're going to punt. We're going to do a field goal. We're going to do a safe return. Hopefully, one of my two safeties can handle this. I I have no faith in him. That's a great punt. No! What are you doing? No! You gotta be kidding! Oh, I'll never call that play again. That's a stupid glitch. Oh, that kills me. What 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 are you doing? No, no, no. Mm. Oh, that really irritates me. So uh I'm at a loss for words on that. I'll have to do middle fan going forward, I guess. That just why did you do that? The CPU that makes no sense why you would do that. On the one! I'm gonna go pick it up and get it. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's going to give me nightmares tonight. Oh, gosh. Mm, just too many mistakes. Too many mistakes. All right. I'm hoping they throw it here. Nope. Up the gut. Perfect play. Well, that's what we get for having a bonehead play like that. Oh, that just irritates me to no end. So much for that big lead we had. So now we got to figure out what to do on offense. It's not nothing's working this second half. Everything was going great first half. We've got to quit turning the ball over. Jeez, that's what you get. It'll be a miracle if we can come out with a victory today because of all these turnovers. You, if you get four turnovers, or if your team has five turnovers, it's it's hard to win those games. I'm gonna let that one go. We're not gonna have a chance on that. We'll go with a toss play. We're going zone. You're not going to see many shifts. That's just good defense. I'm going to stay here, though. We're going to slam. We're going zone. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to audible to our play. Because it's a really good zone beater. If you can get this guy the ball. Clock's running. We're going to let it do so. A blitz. Terrible throw. He probably got out of bounds. Incomplete. I knew it. I knew it. Third and seven. I have no faith this is going to work. We'll go tight end streak. We're going zone. Ah, dang it. Gosh, what a terrible second half. Nothing has gone right. Let's do an advance. Somehow we get a first down. I don't know how, but we did. So it is first to ten. Let's go. Let me see here. What do we have in call? Let's, let's do double tight end outs. We're going man here. 
I'm going to leave it everything as is, except I'm a hot wrap bigger, so I'd rather him try to touch. I'm going to cover zero. We're going to let the clock roll. Our run game has done okay, but it's just not well enough for me just to run the ball a ton. Stayed in bounds, got a few yards out of that at least. We can stay here and go back to slant outs. We're going man. I'm going to hot route our tight end to a go. It's just easier for cover zero purposes to do that. Let this clock roll. I'd love to run as much clock as possible, score touchdown, and end this thing. Cover two. Good throw. Big play. Man, we needed that. All right. Great throw by you-know-who. Eldridge is back. Perfect throw. One juke. Good block there by Whitaker. And we get a first down. Okay. Let's run the ball. We're going man. I'm going to leave it as is, though. Depending on the shift. Okay. I'm going to run to the left. We're going to let the clock roll. See if Lane can make something happen here. Good blocking there. I don't want that impact guy to force a fumble. If we get out of bounds, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's fine. So, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Let's go back to Ace Twins. It's tight end drag. That's what I... Yeah. This is another little motion play, depending. We're going zone. I won't have to do any motion here. We're going to give it our tight end. And... And that guy right there. Make a play there. Wow, that's a good tackle. It's a good play, though. We got some yardage out of it. So, the clock is running. Um, I don't need to do anything stupid here. Let's go. Let's go back to wide receiver deep post. I'm afraid to run it, to be honest. I just don't know if... If our running backs can handle it, I just don't want them want one of them to fumble it. We're gonna give this to Whitaker. This will be his first time touching the ball today. Almost get the touchdown. Good play, and we stayed in bounds too. So good for him. Let's go back, and we'll go to our goal line. We're going zone four three. And are doing that. I wonder what will happen if we bring him over. What would that linebacker do? Nothing. Let's just go over here. And get a touchdown. Okay, so we're up a touchdown. They got less than a minute to go. We're going to high kick it. So we're going to get decent field position, but at least they won't return it. And now it's just up to our defense to make plays to stop them. Otherwise, we may be seeing an overtime situation. That's a perfect drive. Nine plays, three minutes, 15 seconds. Power shoot looked pretty good on that one, especially that third down play from earlier. Jeez. If we didn't convert that, that's something what would be happening. And I completely botched this kick to no win. He still may catch this. Yeah, they got good field position, but at least he didn't return it. I am going... Oh, I'm going to take a chance here. We're going to go with a zone blitz out of nickel. All day to throw. All day to throw. Threw it out of bounds. Second and ten. We're going to stay here. I'm going to do quarters at a nickel. I need some speed out there. I'm pretty sure they're done running the ball. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Good defense. All right, so it's third and ten. Let's go cloud. Now, they're obviously going to go for it if they get to fourth down. I 
all day to throw. Bad throw. Thank the Lord he threw a bad ball there. Now, I'm going to just call the same play. I don't think it's... I'm okay with that. If we could get a stop here, that would be nice. All day to throw. Oh, you... Oh, he got out of bounds! <laughs> oh, go back and look at this. He had a first down. Oh, he just ran out of room. The the tackle or the push was just enough. Ooh, he stepped out right there. Oh, gosh, what a heartbreaker. So they got all three timeouts. So they're going to use them. So we're going to run clock as best we can here, make them use all timeouts. And then we will try to get a first down and end it all together. Okay, let's talk about this play for a minute. This is one of the reasons why I want to do that unbalanced stuff from before. Is when you go up against zone with an unbalanced set, sometimes you can get some really cool stuff happening up to A and B gaps with runs. 06 is kind of known at times for you can't run up the middle as well as you can to the outside, which is true. But sometimes you get situations like this where you got a huge gap up the middle and you can get a decent game. I just thought it was a good idea to mention that. I'm going to go offensive line on that one. I'm going to do a slam. I'm afraid to pitch it. I don't want anything goofy to happen on the pitch. So we'll just do slam again. If they were going 3-4, I'd probably run more dive. We're definitely going to run to the left. Let's make it easier for us. Free up. Good block there. First down. First to 10. That's game. We got the first, then we got one timeout, and that sealed it. Shh, scary, I swear, this scary, scary stuff. But we're going to pull out the win. We're going to call a timeout, and we're going to just go back to the victory formation. And we're going to look at some stats here. Offensively, I'm very pleased outside of the stupid turnovers. <laughs> if we can mitigate those, then our offense will really be cooking this year, for sure. It's third and 14, but it's not going to matter. We'll just take a knee one more time. But we we moved the ball pretty well. Actually, I'm surprised our run game done halfway decent when we actually ran it. If we just cut back on the turnovers, I think we'll be okay on offense. And that's going to give us a big leg up this year. But hopefully this game shows you what we can kind of do offensively. Because there's a couple things like we can go back and look. Well, we'll look at it here in a minute. For whatever reason, I'm in the fetal position there. Let's see. Yeah, they dumped the Gatorade bath on us. For whatever reason, I guess just a close game. All right, I wanted to show you... Oh, we can't do it from here. I just want to show you some other plays. There were some things that's part of the playbook that I didn't really run. We will run later on. But hopefully you enjoyed that offense. We can look at the game stats. Had about 400 yards. That's 100 yards more than we had against Kentucky. And I think it's going to work pretty well. I think if we can run the ball a little bit more, a little bit better, it'll probably work out even better for us. But... Passing the ball, we've done fine, again, outside of we just had some bad throws. Both of our quarterbacks did not throw the ball all that well at times. Stat of the day was this right here, five turn or five sacks to ours. We just, we don't get sacked off in this game. Now, I'm pretty good at avoiding sacks in this game, don't get me wrong. But it did help that we was able to get to them. Just a lot of turnovers today. Had a lot of them... I, or my fault, except for that one goofy special teams turnover. That was all-time bad, for sure. Uh, other than that, we can look at the individual stuff. Eldridge, 18-27, two touchdowns, but that's just some bad throws. Both of them were my fault. I'll, I'll gladly take the blame. Well, that first one was just a bad throw on his part. Sometimes he'll get accurate with it. Other times not. That's okay. That's just part of it when you're dealing with very mediocre quarterbacks. But I'll take 18 to 27 any day of the week. 300 yards, you better believe it. That's great. I'm all for that. Just cut down on the interceptions. 
Run the ball. I like it. If you go by averages, I'm very pleased with it. Eight-yard average for Odom and four, almost five yards for Lane. Receiving our two best players, Biggers and St. Louis. Eight receptions, seven receptions. I'm perfectly happy with that. That's what the offense is supposed to do. And look at their yardage, 144 and 136. Looks good across the board. And our offense done well enough today that Galshaw didn't even have to touch the ball on offense which I need him to make more plays on defense anyways. Of course, we didn't have any pancakes. I wasn't expecting it. So next up, we got Ball State. We beat Ball State, then that's really going to help us recruiting down the road because that's one of those games that I think is very gettable. We can look at the schedule here again. Ball State, we got to beat them before we take on Louisville. I'm hoping somebody gets in trouble for the Louisville game. That way we can punish them as best we can because we still got to get that bar down quite a bit. We've been able to lower it pretty well so far, but every time somebody gets in trouble, it goes back up. So it's kind of hard to really bring it down unless you over-discipline big time. So we can go back and look at that really quick for those of you who are still watching this video. We can go uh, rosters playbook, rosters, and go to program standards. It's a little bit better than it was before, but we got to get down even more. We still got 45 points to play with. I'd love to use them all at some point or another. Hopefully with players that don't play all that much. So come on back. We'll take on Ball State. The Are they the Cardinals? I forgot what they are. Either way, that's two videos down the road. I'm going to do another tutorial video in the next one. That should be, I don't know, probably Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.